Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Hinge dating app. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use the Hinge dating app here? So the first thing, the thing that we want to do here is we need to install the Hinge dating app. In this case, you need to open up Google Play Store here. So in this case, let's go open up the Google Play Store and you want to look for Hinge here. Now, this is going to be H-I-N-G-E. So just type that in and you should be able to see the app it's itself. Now go ahead and install it. So you should be able to see the install button. But once you've installed it, let's go ahead and click on open. Now, since this is a pretty new or we are pretty new on the platform itself, we need to create our account. Let's go ahead and click on the create account option here. Now, we need to enter our phone number. So in this case, you can go ahead and enter your phone number and just click on next. And you just need to wait for the verification to arrive to your phone. Now, in this case, if you see this error here, you might need to wait for a few minutes or a few seconds before trying again. So in this case, just enter your mobile number and proceed on the next page and confirm via a verification code. Yeah. Once you've entered your verification code, we now need to enter our basic info. Let's go and click on enter basic info and we now need to enter our name. So in this case, let's just enter our name here. Now, the last name here is optional, but I would recommend you to actually enter or provide your name or last name as well to increase your chances of matching with someone. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, you now need to provide your valid email address. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our email address. Now, it's going to give you an option to continue with Google or continue with Facebook, but you could go and click on no thanks if you want to. But in this case, I actually want to continue using my Google account. Let's go and click on continue with Google. From here, let's go and choose our email address or our Google account. And from here, let's go and click on agree and share. And this will actually fill out some basic information about ourselves in the app itself since we are going to link our Google account. So in this case, let's go and click on done. And from here, we now need to view the verification code that will be sent to our email. In this case, go ahead and exit the app itself. Go ahead and open up your Gmail or whatever app or platform that you're using for your email. And from here, we need to look for a section for our... Let's just uh, go ahead and reload this one. So you are going to look for a hinge email. So let's just uh, wait for it to arrive here. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes. Now, once you've entered the verification code from your email, we now need to enter our birthday. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our birthday. And from here, we want to next proceed on the next page. It's going to say how old you are. Let's go ahead and click on confirm if it's actually correct. Now from here, it's going to actually ask you to add more details. So let's go ahead and click on add more details. And from here, we want to basically indicate where do we live right now. So in this case, you could go ahead and specify where you currently live. So as an example, let's just basically uh, either click on go to current location here. You go and click on allow only while using app. And from here, it will actually determine or actually show you where you currently live. So in this case, for example, I'm going to say I live around this area here. Now, let's go and click on next. Now, it's going to say what are your pronouns. So let's go ahead and basically say uh, he, uh, him. And from here, let's go ahead and proceed. Now, in this case, uh, it's going to ask you which gender best describes you. So I'm going to say men and just click on X. Now, you could also add your gender identity if you want to. But for now, let's go ahead and proceed for the next page. Now, in this case, uh, well, uh, you could go ahead and answer whatever you want to say here. So you could answer or prefer not to say. Or in this case, I'm going to answer this one and just proceed on the next page. Now, who would you like to date? So in this case, I could answer, again, depending on your preference, you can answer whatever here. But for now, let's go and choose this one and proceed to the next page. Now, what type of relationship is looking uh, looking for? So in this case, I'm going to say this one. and But you could also answer whatever you want here as well. Let's go and proceed to the next page. Now, what are your dating intentions? So in this case, you could go ahead and choose either here. So for example, let's go ahead and choose this one and proceed on the next page. By, by the way, if you want to share more details, you go and click on the plus button here in the screen. But for now, let's go ahead and click on the back button here and proceed on the next page. Now, from here, we now need to say how tall we are. 
So you can either choose fit or uh, centimeters here. So just go ahead and use feet. And I want to uh, basically uh, say, I'm, like for example, I'm 5'5". Five five. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, what is your in in uh, ethnicity here? So in this case, you could answer whatever you want to say here. So in this case, let's just say prefer not to say here. Click on next. Now from here, do you have any children? So in this case, I'm going to say I don't have any. Let's proceed to the next page. And what are your family plans? So in this case, let's just say I want to just, uh, proceed with this one. And where's your hometown? So just an example, I'm going to say maybe Manila. So this is just an example. Let's go ahead and proceed on the next page. Now, where do you work? So in this case, I'm going to say I'm a freelancer. Pre uh, proceed on the next page. And what is your job title? So in this case, let's just say I am a software developer. Now, in this case, once you've actually provided details, let's go ahead and click on next. And where did you study? So in this case, let's just say I studied in uh, UST. Proceed to the next page here. And what's the highest level you attained? So in this case, maybe I want to say I'm I proceed with undergrad. Let's go ahead and next uh, go to the next page here. And what are your religious beliefs? So in this case, you could answer whatever here. So for example, I'm going to say I'm Catholic and just proceed on the next page here. And from here, what are your political beliefs? So in this case, for example, I'm going to say prefer not to say. From here, do you drink? So I'm going to say uh, yes or sometimes. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of questions here. Go ahead and just answer all of them. But for now, let's go ahead and answer here no. So the more details are provided on your profile here, the better your chances of getting matched with someone. Because again, it's going to actually uh, determine um, how will you be matched with other people. Because uh, the app itself determines, depending on your current details and information that you have on your profile, will match you to different people. Let's go ahead and click on the fill out your profile here. Let's go ahead and add photos. So in this case, uh, six photos are required for you to actually proceed with your profile. So let's just let's go ahead and just provide those photos. Now, once you've uploaded those photos, let's go ahead and proceed to the next page. Now, you now need to write some profile answers. So let's go ahead and enter, uh, enter our prompts here. Now, you could also subscribe to their plan here if you want to, but for now, let's go and choose maybe later. That's going to say all done. Let's see your who catches your eye. Let's go ahead and click on start sending likes. Now, from here, you should be able to see the main UI. So let's just wait for it to load up. But before that, let's go and click on agree to the terms here. And from here, you should be able to start uh, using the actual app. So, and now we are now inside the app itself. So the first thing you see is the profile, the, the person or someone you might like. So in this case, if you like something on their profile, you can actually click on the heart icon that you see next to their photo. So at the bottom right there. So that's only the case if you like them. So you can just click on the like button. Now, if you don't like them or you want to see a different profile, you can go ahead and click on the X at the bottom left and you should be able to see a different profile here. Now, in this case, you could also go to the star section here, which in this case, you should be able to see different outstanding content. So this actually refreshes daily. So you could actually uh, basically view their profiles or some outstanding content here. So if you want to actually uh, view your profile, you go ahead and just click on the card itself and you should be able to see their profile itself. Now, if you click on the heart icon here, you'll have the option to choose whether you want to connect with people that like you. So let's go and click on got it. So in this case, uh, if you if there are likes to your profile, this is where they will be appearing. Now, you could also boost your profile here, um, basically subscribe to Hinge, but you could also uh, basically upgrade to Hinge X. Now, you also have the uh, chat section here. This is where your matches will be. So if you like someone and uh, someone actually likes you back, this is where they, they'll be appearing. Now, you also have your profile section, which in this case, you should be able to uh, basically change a few things like your preferences, your settings, even view your My Hinge section, which includes connecting Instagram, Help Center, and how everything works here if you want, how, if you want to view tips. But yeah. So in this case, if you go to settings here, this is our the or the or, this are the settings that you can change. Like for example, if you want to pause your profile, uh, to verify yourself, even see your block list, hidden words, your details, and a lot of those details. But yeah, so in this case, those are the basics on how to use Hinge. 
And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.